Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's lesson, we're going to take a quick look at using extend self inside of a Ruby module. So in Ruby, if you use uh, in extend self inside of a module, what it's going to do is take any instance uh, methods that are defined inside that module and make them available at the module level. So that means you can call those methods on the module itself without actually uh, instantiating it or trying to and seeing that you can't because it's a module, not a class. So let's go ahead and look at an example. Maybe we need to format some currencies, right? And we don't need a class for it necessarily because we don't, maybe we don't need to uh, instantiate any instances of this class. We just simply need a place to put some methods to format a currency. So let's say module, uh, let's do currency formatter. Okay, now inside here is where we're going to say extend self. Now self being the module itself. Now maybe let's make a uh, instance uh, variable here for this module. And maybe let's say, uh, let's call it a default currency. Oop. And then let's make that a string of USD. Now let's go ahead and define a, a format method here. So let's say def format. We can say amount. Uh, that'll be one argument. The currency will be the next one. Uh, and we can use the uh, at default currency for this as a default argument. All right, next let's make a variable, uh, let's just say formatted equals, and now we're gonna do a little bit of uh, some cryptic stuff here. We're gonna use Ruby's uh, string formatter operator, because what we wanna do here is we wanna use uh, in, um, the amount here and format it to be uh, a float of uh, no more than two decimal places, okay? So we'll say uh, quotes uh, percent dot to f okay now we'll do another percentage uh, sign and then the amount there so i'll take whatever amount is passed in and format it uh, it's supposed to be a f sorry not a g uh to be a float of two decimal places and then we can just simply uh go ahead and interpolate the currency and then we'll do a space and then format it all right we'll go ahead and end that string and then we'll go ahead and end our method and maybe we can do like uh, we can take in uh, a list of amounts and go ahead and format those using that method. So we can say format list, take in amounts as an argument. And we can just say amounts dot map uh, amounts dot map and we'll pass it a block and we can just simply call our format method uh, format. And then I'm going to use the new uh, it uh, nameless block argument there and we'll pass that to the format method as an argument here. And we can end this method off and go ahead and end off our module. And now let's give it a test run here. Let's say currency formatter uh, dot format. You can see uh, here in IRB, uh, Ruby is now aware that this method is uh, available on this module, which is what the extend self did there. And if we pass it, say uh, 12.5, for example, now we go ahead and see that we get uh, our formatted currency here, USD 12.50. Uh, now, if we wanted to, you could uh, also update this to make it uh, change currencies. We need to uh, change our module a little bit here. So we say module uh, currency formatter here and uh, give it a adder. Uh, we could do uh, accessor here and we'll go ahead and expose uh, default currency. We'll end that off. So now we could go ahead and say uh, something like currency formatter dot default currency equals and then we can go ahead and change that to euros. Okay, now you would need to add in some logic maybe to do some conversions here on some numbers. Uh, but if we went ahead and uh, change this or ran the code before, uh, or that we ran before to uh, use the new currency, now we can see that we've switched to euros here. Again, you would need to do some, uh, you know, conversion of uh, amounts here for USD to uh, euros if in fact you were using it for that purpose. But Extend self uh, inside of a module is super handy. Um, I don't really see it used all that much, but it's really nice to use and have uh, knowledge of being able to use for those cases where you need some sort of object, but you don't necessarily need an object that you can instantiate, right? So extend self is really great for this kind of work. All right, so with that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Quick one today, I just wanted to show you uh, using extend self inside of modules and how that uh, takes all of the instance methods that are inside that module, uh, that are defined inside that module, and then makes them available at the module level. So with that, take care and go ahead and extend yourself. See you later.